Hey, welcome back. Episode two of the 1950 Chevy truck. That's right. Last episode, we tore it down, did the chassis, put the motor and training mounts in, got the truck ready for paint. This episode, we're gonna catch up to speed. We threw a little paint on her, put it together. We're actually running and driving now. So stay tuned, I'm gonna show you all that right now. And don't forget, at the end of the video, we're giving away the Montejo Smoker. So if you wanna see who wins the Montejo Smoker, wait till the end of the video, it'll be on there. It's awesome, thank you. So now we'll put the fuel tank in, the fuel lines, the fuel pump, the fuel filter, all that fun stuff. But, of course, like every project, we're putting the motor together. We already had the exhaust all done and ceramic coated. And, uh, well, he decided, let's put a turbo on it. So, how can I say no to that? <laughs> so if you get a little confused with the header going this way and then the header going that way, it's, uh, that's the reason behind it. <laughs> so, this is pretty funny. Uh, Jesse came up with this crazy idea to, instead of doing uh, a patina truck with really nice chrome trim on it, to actually flip it. So we painted the truck pearl white and we're making all the trim rusted and patinaed. Now, for those of you who know 50 Chevy pickups, there's a combination of stainless steel, aluminum, and steel. Well, of course we can make steel rust no problem, but when it comes to aluminum and stainless steel, Ain't no way, we've tried everything. So, what we're actually doing is painting the trim and all the little uh, accent pieces to make it look like it's rusted. So yeah, we can make stainless look rusted or aluminum. Check this stuff out, it is epic. Now we're finally getting to the end part of the build here. We're actually putting the windows in today. Gotta to do a little adjustment on that. Double check everything, put the door panels back on it. Um, we have the speaker box made. We have everything put in, but we actually need to uh, wire it. So that'll be on. Mount the AccuAir and rubbers and a few more doodads and some cool stuff. And this thing's out of here. So I can't wait to start test driving it because this is like one of my favorite trucks ever. And uh, I know Jesse's gonna be happy when he gets this thing home too. It's 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 fast, it's cool, it's low, it's everything I love. So uh, super excited about this. We're putting all our electronics in right now, uh, subwoofer and kick panels, and he's wiring it as we speak. So this thing is going to be thumping, sounding good, Bluetooth audio. Uh, thanks to Stinger and JL, uh, we got a perfect system going in this puppy. And then up front here, we got Styles from SoCal Pinstriping laying down the paint. That's right. We like to put a little extra touches here and there. And I have something special for Jesse on the, the Chevrolet emblems. He'll show you just here in a minute. Um, Go check him out. His IG is SoCal Pinstriper. Same with his website. He's got a lot of cool shit. He's a super rad dude. And look at that talent right there. Look at that. I can't do that. So at this point, we have about 100 miles on the truck so far, and we're going to put it on the rack here in a little bit, um, check the alignment, go through every nut and bolt that we can find, touch, feel, because when you blow a truck apart that far, 
Uh, you really have to go over everything and make sure that everything hasn't, you know, kind of found its place and maybe loosened up or needs to be just retorqued. So uh, that's on the agenda. But right now, we're gonna go load up the barbecue in our enclosed trailer. We're gonna go drop it off to the guy that won the barbecue and I'm super excited to meet him and have a beer with him. And uh, then we'll come back and check out this truck and see where we're at and put some miles on it. And then you get to see this puppy rolling, all right? Let's go. <laughs> I totally forgot. We're gonna hook up the trailer and take the Montejo smoker over to this guy that won but I forgot I ordered new wheels and tires for my truck and they still aren't here. So, uh, man, I hope they show up soon. <laughs> Whoops. Uh. Okay, so we got the wheels and tires on finally, which is kind of funny. Uh, now I'm gonna hook up the trailer, load the queue, and we're gonna go meet this guy. Uh, 11.43, we're only 43 minutes late. Oh, what up? Hello, Mr. <laughs> DB is here. Hey, Tony. Guess what? What's up? You're the winner of a new smoker by Monte. Oh, uh, yeah. You ready? Yeah, let's go We're check it out. load it. You're going to love it. I'm going to need your help. You live on a hill. <laughs> all right, all right. Hell <laughs> no. oh, yeah, I'm fucking stoked. There she is. So, can I add a hitch to this? <laughs> That's what everybody says. You put a hitch on it. I can put it on my 4Runner. So what we started with is just a, a basic smoker. And then uh, my, my machine shop made these amazing billet handles. Yeah. Um, it had a, a little deck on the front of here, but I smoke too, so I like a big platform to work off of. Okay. So this is still removable. So like if you want to put it in your truck or something, uh -huh. you just open this up, slide that off. All right. That way it's a little bit slim liner. It's not a small smoker by any means, but um, so it makes it a little bit nicer. We went ahead and uh, put a cover on this because this is more of a prep area again. Mm -hmm. And this is going to get hot. So I put a sleeve around it, just try okay. to keep you from burning yourself. We put the speaker on the front. Uh, we built a whole chassis for it. It's got golf cart wheels and tires. Um, we added a fridge and of course a piston a handle. Piston. There you go, top it <laughs> off. That's our little automotive touch. <laughs> but uh, it basically pulls like a wagon, it's not too bad. I was yeah. pretty impressed by that hill there that we made it up, no problem. <laughs> so that's about it. I mean, it's. Dude, this is badass, man. Prop, man. Thank you. Thank Prop, you. Prop. Appreciate it. Well, cheers to another excellent cheers, day man. and an excellent smoker, and to you, my friend. Thank you, thank you. Hey, we're back. And guess what? They got the system done in the, in the 50 Chevy. Man, it sounds really, really good. Especially for, we don't have a lot of equipment, a lot of space, so it sounds really, really good. Um, we're gonna go take this sucker for a test drive. I'll give you just a little bit of that. But in a couple weeks here, we're gonna show you the actually spotlight, the devious spotlight of the truck. This is where we walk around, we show you all the details, really get in depth with the truck, a little bit of driving, all that fun stuff. So stay tuned for that. Also, we chose a winner for the Black Fly sunglasses, but we're not giving it away this week. We're gonna let you know who won next week at the end of the episode. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And you know what? It's 4th of July weekend. You guys have a blast out there, all right? Happy 4th, woo! Mobbing with my brothers, there's no question, keep it real. Whether we East Coast and Norway in the hills. In the popping straps of blue faces, not the pills. Heard you call them bluffs, I show them prove it is for real. Son of God, not a son of Sam. Keep it off the books and keep it coming in. It's the old whip, see what I'm coming in. The inside caramel, just like a honey grin. Call my phone, hit my line. Only ones who down for.